hi guys welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a small software using checkbox and button so in the last tutorial we learned about mit app inventor and button so in this tutorial we are going to learn about checkbox so in the last we are going to make this software this software is basically used for calculating the price okay so first uh, we need one layout here so i'm going to choose a vertical scroll arrangement and uh, i'm going to hide is should be fill parent whether should be fill parent and i'm going to use here one connection here no problem with that okay so i'm going to use here checkbox one checkbox two checkbox three and one label for calculating the amount and one button for getting the amount and one more button for reset very simple so in the last button i have to just write reset in the first button i have to write calculate and here in the label total amount and first should be like I'm going to sell pizza so pizza and price something 500 second burger 300 and uh, ice cream 100 simple so I'm going to do some um, very basic okay there is the orange option fine and change the tone to 20 okay 20 and this is also 20 and this one also and you can change the amount total amount something 80 it's fine and change the button background color something custom I'm going to use custom color and use style something similar to tile and change the text button text colors to buy white and here again i'm going to do this and custom here should be red color okay, because we are using a reset and text should be white so it's overall looking good right here so i'm going to use here one more label for display my and software name pizza shop right and uh, fine height with as automatically everything is fine right here so okay if you want to make it in a center so you have to choose one layout that is called horizontal arrangement here and you have to use this pizza shop in this and click on horizontal which should be fill parent and this should be aligned to center and aligned to center and now we are going to change the default color to orange like this now it's uh, this is one is in now in the center right so i'm going to code uh, code of this video code of this software so go to the block section and now here i'm going to code so first thing we have to assign the variable so what should we have to do simple so first we are going to initialize the global variable and that name is TV it means to T a total amount and value should be zero actually zero fine so value should be zero so here's one variable that's name called is TA and that value is zero right and in the second thing what should we have to do whenever we click on checkbox so whenever checkbox dot change so here we are going to use here one condition is logic so this condition is control if if 
here and if checkbox one dot checked so i'm going to check box one and find out checked properties there i got it so whenever if checkbox one dot checked then i have to define the value like i have to set the global value set global ta to i have to uh, one more thing I have to do is call simple plus sign like and use here global so get the value get global ta plus it means here the get global ta it means it's something zero plus copy and paste here and this is something 500 right simple now else otherwise click on setting and go to the here else action else if checkbox is not checked okay if not checked then what should we have to do we have to use here minus sign to minus value okay like this and to minus 500 that's very simple right so here i'm going to explain you again when checkbox one dot change okay whenever we click on checkbox checked or unchecked whatever we do it's change then if checkbox one dot check checked if it if this value is checked then set global ta to set global ta plus 500 it means global ta value is 0 plus 500 equal to 500 otherwise it should be global TA minus 500. It's, it's already checked and we are going to uncheck this. So this uh, this action uh, minus our initialize global value. So I'm going to copy and paste this whole code two times to for checkbox two and checkbox for three. So this is for checkbox two, this is for checkbox three. For checkbox two, I have to check condition to checkbox two change the amount to 300 minus 300 checkbox 3 100 and 100 that's very simple right so i'm going to use here one reset button here so whenever i click on button 2 so global set value is going to okay set so it, this should be like this set is zero to show this should be like this so now we are going to calculate the value so we have to display the value so whenever we click on button one it means total amount so our text label label value so label two dot text so no, no, no we have we have used level one right so level two dot text is should be set level from so i'm going to change it to level okay uh, level is fine level one is fine level one dot text two get value total a very simple right so that's the overall of your app so i'm going to run this app in my mobile phone and show you how it's work so here you can see that's the very simple software so whenever i'm going to click on pizza and ice cream and calculate this amount so click on calculate so you can see 500 and 100 is 600 total amount is if i'm going to select burger also and then calculate it's 800 i'm going to uncheck the pizza so amount should be 300 yeah 300 ice cream okay burger zero so this software is ready now so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me on comment thank you so much for watching this video please like my video and subscribe my channel